Hi, this is Franklin Nolan. Today's date is September 9th, 2015. Waiver of Section 402 Alpha of the Congressional Budget Act with respect to consideration of H.R. 6415, 15th Congress, First Session, Senate Calendar Number 287, Report Number 95-308, Docket Number 95-1, SRPT 308. June 28th, legislation date May 18th, 1977, ordered to be printed. Mr. Muniski from the Committee on the Budget submitted of the following report to accompany SRS 200. The Committee on the Budget to which was referred to the resolution, Senate Resolution 200, waived Section 402 Alpha of the Congressional Budget and Impoundment Control Act of 1974 with respect to consideration of H.R. 6415 to extend for three months the statutory operation or operating authorities to export import bank which considered the same report to favorably thereon the and recommends that the resolution be adopted purpose of the resolution section 402 alpha of the congressional budget act of 1974 provides that it shall not be in order in either the House or the Senate to consider any bill or resolution which directly or indirectly authorizes the enactment of a new bill authorizing for fiscal year unless that bill or resolution and reported in the House or Senate has the case may be or has before May 15th preceding the beginning of such fiscal year because HR 6415 which authorizes the export import bank to commit a new export credits and issue additional financial guarantees during fiscal year 1976 will indirectly authorize new budget authorities to become available in fiscal year 1978 and will report by the committee on banking, housing, and urban affairs on June 21st, 1977, a resolution waiving section 402 alpha of the budget act with respect to H.R. 6415, must be favorable. Favorably on the Resolution Budget Committee is simply recommending that the Senate proceed to consider H.R. 6415, but is not prejudging the merits of the bill. Committee criteria. The Budget Committee is extremely reluctant to recommend the adoption of Resolution Waiving Section 402 Alpha of the Budget Act. The section was included in the Budget Act to ensure that all authorizing legislation to is considered as far as possible in advance of the fiscal year in which it takes effect so that it could be considered in formulation of the first concurrent resolution. In addition, this section was included to provide Apprehensions Committee with some reasonable notice needed appropriations for coming fiscal year so that the Appropriations Committee can meet the appropriation timetable spelled out in the Budget Act. Legislation authorizing the enactment of the Budget Authority, which is reported to the Senate after May 15th, could delay the enactment of the appropriations bills and pass the Budget Act deadline of seven days after Labor Day for the completion of the entire appropriations process. This legislation history of the Budget Act indicates that May 15th reporting deadlines is not to be lightly waived. Under these circumstances, the Budget Committee, in deciding whether the favorable report resolution waiving Section 20, excuse me, 402 Alpha of the Budget Act, will consider factors including reporting committee's effort to meet May 15th deadlines, the delay of the appropriations process and engendered by the late reporting of the authorization, and whether the enactment of authorizing will significantly affect the national priorities establishment of the congressional budget and budget implications. The sole purpose of the Senate bill is to extend the expiration date for the Export Import Banking Act of 1945 from June 30th, 1978 to September 30th of 1978 in order to confirm with the new fiscal calendar and enactment bill with authorize the bank to commit new export credentials and credits and issue additional financial guarantees and credit insurance during the three-month period. CBO estimates that the fiscal year 1978 budget impacts 
uh, to be 364 million in the budget authority and 22 million on the outlies. The effects of defeating consideration of this authorization would be to prevent the bank from entering into new commitments until it anticipates multi-year extensions of its charter and appropriate, uh, appropriate approval sometime uh, later this year. Acceptance of the authorization proposed in HR 6415 would not delay or interfere with the appropriations process and the funds involved are cons uh, consistent with the first budget resolution. Accordance and according to the Committee of Banking, Housing, and Urban Development staff, the delay in reporting HR 6415 was caused by unfamiliarity and an indirect authorization in the fact that the subcommittee chairman was forced to undergo surgery during this time period, changing the staff on the committee and the absence of replacement until after May 15th. In favorability reports and resolution and committee notes, that shall not only, or that not only will be the regular, regular appropriations process to be delayed, but also the request funding levels can be accommodated within the budget ceilings of function 119, function 150, sets forth the first budget resolution. That's SR2, it's going to be 308. Waiver of Section 402 Alpha of the Congressional Budget Act with respect to consideration of H.R. 6415, 95th Congress, First Session, Senate Calendar Number 287, Report to Number 95-304, Docket Number 95-1, SRPT 308, today's date is September 9th, 2015. Hope you had a good Labor Day weekend.